Hello! Hi everyone! Happy Sunday! Um, hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I am here solo yet again. Doran's actually um, on plane right now uh, from Texas, so he's landing in a few hours. Um, so it's just me again today. Hopefully that's fine with you. I know that whenever Dorian's not in these videos, I'm a little bit slower and I don't answer as many questions as I possibly want during the time I do my live Q&A. But, you know, I gotta read through the questions so it takes me a little bit longer. But um, I hope everyone's having a wonderful Sunday and welcome to my live Q&A. So there is no theme this week. So ask me any questions you want. Um, about grooming, style, etiquette, dating, life in general. Whatever questions you have, I will answer. Um, and I will, as usual, always start with the questions from the last Ask AW um, session where uh, you guys left some questions in the comment section and upvoted the ones that you really wanted me to answer. So I'll always start with those and then I'll throw it, and or not throw it to you, I'll go to the chat box and answer, start answering all of your guys's. Um, if you do want me to answer a question, absolutely want me to uh, answer a question today, then you do have the, or during the session, you do have the option of paying like five or $10, something like that. And it'll just pop up really bold on the screen and I will definitely be sure to answer it. Just an option for you. But um, I always try to get to as many questions as possible. Never as much as, um, never as many as I possibly want to, to do during our time here, but you know, such is the case because um, Dorian's not here, so he can't be like, all right, Ashley, come on, answer this question, answer this question. So, um, so hope everyone's having a great day. Um, just a warning though, so I'm, I actually want to attend behind me and downstairs, there is an event going on and there's a speaker that I was really interested in um, and so she was giving her presentation. So that's actually about to start. So it may get kind of loud and hopefully it's not too loud where you guys can't hear me, but I just popped in because they have um, an empty office to the side. So I popped in so that I could do my live Q and A with you guys. But if it does get loud, it's because there is an event literally happening directly behind me. So sorry about that. I just really wanted to see it and this is the only way I could make it happen and still do the live Q and A because I always do it every Sunday at 4 p.m. Pacific, Pacific Standard Time. There we go. <laughs> okay, all right, getting back to the questions. Okay, from the last um, Ask AW show, Chris asked me, hey, what are your thoughts on Adidas Ultra Boost and what kind of outfits can you wear with them? I absolutely love the Adidas Ultra Boost. So I actually have the Pure Boost. Dorian has the Ultra Boost. I got him the black and white one. And um, I have to say, they still have the same sole, the Pure Boost and the Ultra Boost. I wore the Pure Boost all throughout New York. So that two weeks ago when I was in New York all week, I walked miles every single day with my Pure Boost on and they were so incredibly comfortable and at the end of the day I usually will always have like my knees will be really sore or my back will be sore and that did not happen whatsoever. It felt like I was walking on like marshmallows and Dorian said, he was like, yeah, Ashley, like honestly, my Ultra Boost are the most comfortable shoes I have ever put on my feet in my entire life. So he loves them, they're so stylish. Get the black um, the black Ultra Boost with the white sole. It's really easy to wear. You can wear them with dark wash jeans, black jeans, charcoal jeans, um, and then pair them with a t-shirt, a polo shirt, a button down um, Oxford with the sleeves rolled up. Throw on a Harrington jacket or a bomber jacket. Um, I would not wear them with a suit or with suit trousers. That's, it's just too athletic, too casual for those kinds of outfits. Even if you dressed down a um, pair of wool trousers, I still wouldn't recommend it, but you can wear them with chinos for sure. Okay, moving on. I hope that was enough information. <laughs> but big fan of the uh, Black Ultra Boost. I actually included it in my top four or five shoes for spring. So check out that video if you have not. Okay, so Matthew asked me, you recommend undoing the first button or two of a shirt, but does that work with men with hairy chests? So here is the thing. If you have a hairy chest, you still should do, so the top button is usually the collar button. So you wanna undo that. Then you wanna undo the next button. Now, depending on how close 
they sit together, you may actually want to undo one more. But I would say always talk to, regardless if you have a hairy chest. Now, if you're seeing the hair kind of spill out of your shirt, that means it's time to trim, my friend. You want to trim. Your hair should not be like a furry patch that is like going to tickle someone or touch someone. You don't want that. That's too too distracting. So you want to just actually trim your entire chest hair and really your body hair. If it's getting to that point where it's it's long and you can like twist twist the hairs together and make like little mini dreadlocks. That means time to trim. Okay, uh, Anthony asked me, hey, so what can I wear to the club, especially if it's hot outside? So I get this question a lot, and I guess this is gonna definitely apply for club atmospheres or if you're going to a bar, meeting up with some friends, wanna meet some girls um, or men out there, then um, a great, put together but still stylish outfit. Obviously you don't wanna wear a jacket because you're gonna be sweating, it's gonna be way too hot. So go with a polo shirt. So I actually, um, in my pick of the week, I think it's two times ago, my pick of the week, there is my absolute hands down favorite polo shirt I talked about in that video. So be sure to check that out. Um, they have fantastic colors. So if you check out the video, I say the colors to um, that you should get and they only cost $10. So definitely get on that. I don't know if they're sold out yet because you guys, when I put out that video, there were so, so many of you guys um, got them. So I think some of them actually um, went out of stock. I don't know if they filled that back up, but be sure to check out the uh, polo shirt. So wear a nice dark polo shirt with some dark wash jeans or black jeans, throw on a pair of uh, white sneakers, or you can even do like a navy or a charcoal sneaker as well. Um, and that's a, just a really great outfit to wear to the bar or to the club. You can also go with an Oxford button down and just roll up the sleeves. Keep it simple, solid. Um, most guys out there, when they go to a club or a bar and they're wearing a button down collared shirt, they always go with a, um, with a gingham pattern. I don't know why, for whatever reason, men, it's just, they think, you know, a stylish, casual button up shirt um, is a gingham shirt. So don't do a gingham shirt. Go with a solid color. That way you can, um, you'll stand out in a sea of gingham, gingham men. So that's what I recommend. All right. Now it is time to go to you all out there. Okay. Let me go look through your questions. Thank you again for everyone that's joining me. I um, hope you are having a wonderful Sunday and, um, I'm so excited by the way, just, okay. Side, side note, I'm really excited because our um, my first video for the grooming series is going to be coming out this week. So uh, for those of you that watched the intro to the grooming essential series last week, you're gonna have a treat this week. So um, if you have not watched that intro to the grooming essential series, then definitely be sure to watch that first before you watch the video that's coming out this week. All right. Uh, let's see. Ashley, can you water down moisturizer with water to make it less thick and more suited for your skin? No, don't do that. Instead, you need to switch your moisturizer for something that suits your skin, so something lighter. So if it's that thick, it's because it's too heavy. So you need an oil-free, a lighter moisturizer, and I cannot wait because I've got so many great suggestions for you all that's gonna be included in the series when we start talking about skin. Um, so yes, all right. Okay, I'm gonna scroll up to the top just because Everyone that tuned in first, I want to make sure I answer your questions. Uh, all right. What tips do you have for men who can't grow beards? Easy. Don't grow one. Shave it all off. If it's going to be patchy, that's not going to look good. So just go clean shaven. There you go. Uh, what are five affordable suits for a budget of $1,000 um, or less? Brooks Brothers first, their Milano line, then their Red Fleece line, then you can go with Top Man if you're skinny. Um, and, well, I mean, Top Man, H&M, 
they're gonna be like same quality, not the best, but it'll get you through it. And, um, and the fit is actually really nice. So if you don't have that much money, maybe only a couple hundred, then go with them. Uh, J. Crew is also really great. I love their Ludlow suit. If you're a slimmer guy or their Crosby suit, if you're um, a little bit more athletic of a build or just a little bit huskier. Okay, uh, Gio, love you too. Let's see, okay. Oh, someone asked me where is my engagement ring. Sorry, I left it off today. <laughs> so I don't sleep with my engagement ring at night. Um, so, and sometimes I just forget to put it on in the morning. And so this morning when I woke up, I immediately started cleaning the house uh, before Dorian came home because I made a complete mess while I was um, home alone basically for a week. So I was cleaning and I don't like my ring on when I'm cleaning, so I forgot to put it on. Don't tell Dorian. <laughs> The theme for today, there is no theme. I'm gonna answer any of your questions on any topic. Best canvas shoes for males. Go, well, I talk about this in the best sneakers video, um, a couple actually, and then and also the uh, best white sneakers out there. I, I give canvas options. Converse Jack Purcells, Converse All Stars, um, anything else to those two I love the best for white canvas shoes so I would say those yep those I'm gonna stick with those um, also oh wait Vans does make a, a, um, a great canvas sneaker so be sure to check out it's I think in my top four or five uh, shoes for spring video if not that then I definitely covered it in my essential series okay let's see for those of you that are asking where Dorian is, he is on a flight right now from Texas where he visited his mom for Mother's Day. So he's been there for a week, so I've been all by myself, um, just, you know, going crazy while he's not in town. <laughs> um, all right, so, oh, why don't I go on my, on my Twitter more? I'm gonna be a lot better about that. I actually just went on the other day and I realized you, a lot of you guys out there actually asked um, are tweeting me so many great questions, so I will be more um, present on my Twitter and try to answer as many of your questions on there as possible. So, sorry about that. Why do I always recommend clothes that are kind of pricey? No, I don't. If you uh, watch any of my videos and go to any of my articles, I always recommend, well, I always recommend my number one option out there, whether it's pricey or inexpensive, and then I'll give more um, designer uh, options, and then I always will give um, more budget-friendly options. And I will tell you if like there is an item you should splurge, splurge on or just actually go a little bit um, more inexpensive. Like the polo shirt. I did a whole video about this polo shirt that I'm obsessed with from H&M that is only $10. And yes, I love John Mervado's, you know, their $200 polo shirt, but it's still, in terms of how it holds up, it's still like the same um, when it comes to the H&M one. So I'd rather spend $10 and get 10 of them and uh, replace them just as frequently as I would need to replace the $200 polo. What about guys wearing flip-flops with jeans in public? <laughs> what about them? That's a no-no. I've always maintained that. Unless you're going to the beach or to a pool party, you are never to wear sandals. Please, it's disgusting, it's gross, it doesn't look good visually. And women, it's like very jarring when we see men's feet. So, sorry, there's a, I guess, um, it sucks to be a guy if you really like to wear sandals because it's terrible, it does not look good. There's plenty of breathable shoe options out there. Canvas sneakers, uh, boat shoes, driving mocks. So there is plenty of options and I've covered them extensively throughout all the videos about accessories um, in terms of shoes. So be sure to check that out. All right, uh, what else? What pants colors look good with a red polo? Well, I am, I don't know why on my iPhone, the screen is going even darker. That is so weird. Okay, sorry, I don't know what's going on. Okay, red polo, I'm assuming that you have a nice dark olive skin tone and you're not pale and you don't have any kind of pink tones in your skin because red polos on, on lighter skin men, 
that have pink undertones looks horrible. It will make them look even more flush, more red. Um, so unless you're olive to a darker skin tone, you don't wanna wear a red polo. Now, if you are olive or uh, darker skin, then a red polo will look great with, you can wear them with dark wash jeans. You can wear it with a nice white chino. Even, um, you can wear it with a navy chino as well as a khaki chino. Um, don't wear it with green chinos because you're gonna look like a Christmas tree. Can I just ask everyone, do I look dark right now or do I, is it still really lit brightly? Because my screen is really dim right now and I don't know why. So if you can let me know, that would be great. Okay, I'm bright, awesome, thanks. Thanks AP. Okay, and Chris and Jorge and all you guys. <laughs> um, all right, moving up. See, I think I'm answering way more questions than I did the last two times. So I'm trying to answer them quick and get to as many as I can. Okay, I lost my place. All right, how do you feel about a sport jacket with a pullover shirt? So a crew neck t-shirt. You can totally wear a blazer with a crew neck t-shirt. I like, I like it when you go with like a navy or white striped um, t-shirt. That looks really great. As well as even gray, black, navy. I mean, all of those solid colors look fantastic, especially if you wanna dress down a blazer and wear it with some dark wash jeans and some sneakers. It looks so stylish, casual, comfortable. Okay, uh, let's see. Hi, Andrew. And... Who do I recommend for a budget-friendly navy Harrington jacket? I mean, I really just have my go-tos. I think jackets sometimes are just, well, actually a lot of the times, they're one of those things where you should really invest in. T-shirts, polo shirts, jeans, you don't need to. You can find them on the cheap. Harrington jackets, I have my favorites. So I love Fred Perry. I think they do a great job. The Barracuda updated one with the slim, the slim fit version, J. Cruz uh, sells them sometimes. The, I mean, they're the OGs of the Harrington jacket, so they always look great. And um, Topman also makes them. Sometimes Zara makes them, so you might get lucky. Um, and you might find them at Zara or H&M. So, um, yeah, but I always just stick with uh, Fred Perry. That's Dorian. I've stocked his closet with a couple of Fred Perry Harrington jackets, and they look fantastic. How do you pass your subjects um, this semester? <laughs> Somebody asked me. Well, you got to study and... Get, you know, get some A's on those tests. What color is Sam Smith's? Blue, green, or red? Are you talking about the back? So they should be all white, and then the back on your heel, they always have a color. I would go with green or blue. The red, it looks cool, but it just sometimes gets really distracting, and you have to pay attention more to what you're wearing so that it doesn't add another color element to your clothes, which then it could just look too much. What do you think about Ralph Lauren? Is it overpriced because of the brand name? What would you compare it to? I love Ralph Lauren. I love um, Double RL, RRL. So their t-shirts and denim are awesome. A little pricey, but they're so great. The dark wash jeans, the cut is amazing. The t-shirts I'm obsessed with. David Beckham pretty much buys all of his t-shirts from there. Um, so I, I really love the fit of them. But I also think that you could just easily, if you want a higher end, a t-shirt you could pay for James Purse or um, what is it Armani Exchange but double RL t-shirts are really nice uh, okay Jack Black oil free moisture oh is the bomb yes it is that's really good all right what are some of your favorite essential shorts to have this summer well Peter you are in luck because I have a whole free summer essentials ebook that you can download on my website and I go into um, shorts and what brands and what specifically you should buy. So go check that out. What shoe color do you recommend with a charcoal gray suit? Well, I definitely talked about this in my charcoal gray suit story and video. So hopefully you watch that, but you wanna go with black. You can go with dark brown if you're gonna wear like a lavender shirt or a light blue shirt and you're trying to just lighten it up, then you can go with a dark brown. But for the most part, you always go with black Oxford dress shoes or brogues. Ooh, scrolling, it's like making my arms so tired. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Uh, all right, I'm gonna 
start scrolling down and get to you guys. Uh, let's see. I answered all of these. Oh, the event has started, but it's not that loud. So that is great. It just has a little bit of music. Okay, uh, let's see. Okay, where can I buy French cuff white dress shirts, slim fit that actually fit well? Well, I love, so they're actually kind of hard to find and affordable ones that are hard to find. So you can, for affordable, I would actually go with Brooks Brothers, their Milano fit um, spread collar French cuff is fantastic, it has a nice uh, slim fit, so I would definitely go with them. And then in terms of expensive, you can go with, I mean, Xenia has them. Who else? Ralph Lauren actually has them as well, now that we're talking about that. Um, so start with those. Those are like the ones that I have used and that I like. So any other ones that I would name off the top of my head, I haven't personally used with my clients, so I couldn't vouch for them. All right, so Will, Will, thank you for um, sending a couple bucks my way and getting, and I'm gonna make sure to answer your question. Now, what's the difference between slim, um, slim straight and relaxed? My Calvin Klein chinos claim that they're slim, but the leg opening is bigger than that. Okay. So there is slim fit, there is slim straight, and then there is relaxed. So slim straight is going to be slim down, it's gonna be slimmer in the thigh, but then once it hits the knee, it's gonna be straight down. So most slim fit jeans will continue tapering all the way down to the ankle. Now I understand that your Calvin Klein um, chinos say that they're slim fit, but here's the thing, depending on the brand, Different designers have different definitions of what a slim fit is. So some brands, their slim fit is actually a lot roomier than other brands. And other brands, their slim fit could be like skinny jeans, like way too tight. So relaxed fit, now what a relaxed fit is, is that it's gonna give you a lot of room in the thigh. So it's gonna be quite roomy in the thigh. And then it goes, it'll still, it might still taper a little bit down, but it's gonna give you, relaxed fits are usually very similar to straight fit, but they give you even more room in the thigh. Never, I would say if you are a slim fit guy, don't go ever with slim straight because that still gives you room down in the um, knee to ankle. So then it just still looks kind of baggy and relaxed. So um, easy fix for you though, is you can easily go to a tailor and have your tailor just slim it down, slim the legs down. It doesn't cost very much and it's totally worth it. Especially if the waist and the butt area fits great, I would just easily go take it to a tailor and tell them, slim it down. And if you watch my chino and my jean story um, about the, the fit guide for those, I tell you exactly how much you should be able to pinch on either side of your thigh so that you kind of know like how slim they should be. But there you go. Okay. Um, all right. This is going to be my, I'm going to answer two more questions, only two more. Um, now somebody, someone random, uh, just paid me another couple dollars. So thank you again for that. Um, and I will make sure to answer your questions during this. So you are going to be one of the two questions I'm going to answer before I'm going to have to go. Okay. What do you do when you wear slim chinos and have phones, keys, and wallets? Do you recommend stuffing the pockets um, or using a small bag? What type of bag? I love this question. Oh my gosh. Okay. Hopefully you watched my videos about um, my essential, it, it was in my essential accessories uh, series. So I did a whole video about wallet and keys and watch the intro to that series because I actually address this issue. Um, and so a lot of times what happens is men, they carry way too much um, credit cards or receipts or cash in their wallet. So it's really thick. You should only be carrying a thin, slim wallet. Um, that way, just with like uh, your ID, your credit card, maybe your insurance card if you need it, although that should be in your car. And, um, and maybe like, just a couple dollars, but that's it. It should be very slim. Stuff that in your back pocket. That's all you need. Now, in terms of your phone, I mean, put it in your back pocket um, because 
that's really where, I mean, you don't want to hold it. If you are a type of person that is constantly going out, maybe you work, you can work um, from wherever, then I would recommend going with a backpack um, or a briefcase with a shoulder um, strap. I recommend my favorite ones in my briefcase story as well as in my backpack story. So go check those out for options just to carry. That's how Dorian carries all of his wallet, his uh, keys, his uh, phone. He just puts it in his backpack. Um, but oh, actually, the wallet or the phone he always has in his back pocket just in case, like you know, someone calls him and he, he can hear it or feel it. Now, in terms of your key, your key should be very minimal. I go over keychains as well in the Essential Accessory Series. Um, so you should really only have your car key and your um, key to your place and maybe your mailbox key, but that's it, three keys. So you can easily just put that in your, either your back pocket or your jacket pocket if you're carrying a jacket or just your front pocket. It, no one's gonna see it because it's so slim still. So that's how you're gonna deal with um, the issue of carrying your items while wearing slim fit jeans. Now, because obviously you don't wanna look lumpy, that's horrible. So just do it. Do exactly what I say, but again, watch that whole, it, it, just the intro alone to my essential accessory series goes over that in depth. So I hope that answered your question. And thanks, thanks for uh, the support. Okay, let me just scroll up, make sure I answer all of your eyes. Okay, next question, second question, the only question, because I gotta get off, I've been on here too long. Um, but this has been so much fun, you guys have so many great questions, I love it. All right, Marcus asked me, uh, what is your favorite scent on a man? Yes, I know, use cologne sparingly, <laughs> so you know me. Cologne and fragrances um, are a little, uh, they're a little bit much, um, so, I mean, I always like something that's very light and airy um, and something that uh, is very floral um, and not too musky uh, or anything like that. So I like something very floral. Um, in terms of who makes it, I'm trying to think. There was this one, was it Tom Ford? I want to say it was Tom Ford. You know what, what I'll do is as soon as this video ends, I'll just type in the comment section, I'll leave the exact one because there's two of them that I really loved um, that I tested out and it smells so delicious. And I, and I even um, had a little sample thing and so I had all, all of my girlfriends who are very good looking, they're quality women, they have great jobs, all of that. And they, um, they smelled it as well. So, and they loved it. So I will leave that in the comment section below because I do want to answer that question. So don't you worry. I will um, give you a exact fragrance you should pick up. And okay, let me make sure. Okay, so that's it. All right, guys. <laughs> Thank you again for tuning in, everyone. And um, I hope everyone's having a great Sunday. I will be live, live, what am I trying to say? The next Ask AW live Q&A session will be next Sunday, 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And I can't wait to answer all your questions. It's gonna be another free for all. And um, yeah, so I hope you're having a great day. Be sure if I didn't answer your questions, just leave it in the comment section below. Upvote the ones that you want um, answered in the next one and I will be sure to answer them. All right, uh, have a wonderful rest of your Sunday and look out for the first video in the grooming series. All right, bye.